Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February 2021. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in the new format where we take it week by week with an overall energy. Let's get to your reading, Scorpio. Your overall is that of the Page of Swords in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy. That of Cancer, or something. Keep saying Cancer. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. A sun, moon, or rising male or female. Now, not necessarily is it those signs, but it could be representative of what the Page of Swords, at least it's in the upright. So this is uh, messages, communication, could be coming through from a air sign, but it could be any sign. It could just be representative of little tidbits of information, could be messages coming through, quick, short messages. Um, sometimes the page of swords can represent um, somebody, you know, sort of looking into the affairs of others, indicating could be a little bit of a stalking situation going on. Maybe somebody's checking up on you. Makes sense if you are applying for jobs. Maybe they're looking into your background, doing background checks, that kind of thing. Others of you, it just could be about messages, little short messages coming from people that are just, or maybe you're sending out like emails or text messages and people are just, or someone in particular is just giving you short answers in return. Um, with the Page of Swords, I always say check and double check the mes message coming from this person or these people because sometimes it can be representative of just people talking sort of so to speak, around the water cooler at work, and they're just sort of like passing some gossip. Maybe it's just surface knowledge and you need to actually get into more in depth and find out what this myth, this person is really um, talking about. That's the thing, because this person can just be giving you little tidbits of information and you need to make sure that you double check. Because remember, the page of swords is not like the the king or the queen or even the knight the page is very immature sort of surface kind of surfacey kind of knowledge or just little bits and little bits of information <laughs> so it could be there's a lot of talk around you maybe too much talk this month in week one we do see here the knight of wands in the upright position rooted down by the page of pentacles we have another page here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Knight of Wands in the upright position. This is Quicksilver. This is uh, fire energy this time. So the, the beginning of the month, the first week, is very fiery perhaps for you, uh, uh, Scorpio. This is um, fire energy, which is Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Could be for some of you, get an offer from a fire sign. For others of you, this could just be representative of an offer in general. Say, for example, you, you know, have something up for sale. This could be somebody coming in. And the thing about the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, these kinds of energies come in very quickly. Uh, more so with the Knight of, of uh, Wands in that respect, because there's usually no warning with the Knight of Wands. Can Well, very little warning could just sort of come in and uh, say, for example, this is a... a a friend or a love interest or something like that could be whizzing through town and calling you on Sunday night and say they'll be there first thing in the morning and come meet me for coffee, that kind of thing. They don't give you a lot of time to, you know, deliberate and they're, they can be gone just as quickly as they come in. So that's the thing. If this is an offer, say, that's being made, for example, on your home, it could be a quick offer for a quick sale. And if you don't answer them right away, they'll just move on to, you know, someone else. Um, this could be, you know, a flash in the pan kind of offer, but it's still an offer nonetheless. <laughs> it could be an offer of adventure, could be an offer of movement, could be an offer of travel. You know, only take what resonates. But it looks like fast-moving energy could be romantic. If this is a romantic interest, this is somebody who's very passionate and very easily excitable. And it's rooted down here with the Page of Pentacles in the upright position. And more Page energy here, which means this is sort of immature energy. The Page of Pentacles, now we're dealing with Earth, which is... Um, 
uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Energy could be that you're getting messages from an earth sign, but it could be about earthly matters too. Maybe you're getting messages about concerning your home, concerning your business or finances or something like that. Sometimes the Page of Pentacles can be representative of a young person, a child or, um, you know, a child of school age. Maybe they're uh, getting some kind of scholarship or something like that or hearing some news about them um, for others of you yeah it could just be with like with the offer here the knight of wands a fast-moving energy that comes in very quickly but it could be that the the money attached to this offer could be you know very small or very limited because of the page energy for others of you this could be news or offer coming in towards you about an apprenticeship position or something where you're being offered a position but it's just a small position like I said a, an apprenticeship type of thing or a junior partnership kind of thing now we move on to week two and now we have a night another night here we have a night of cups in the upright now we're dealing with water energy and this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon arising male or female you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position indicating you are on the right track at least in week two you are <laughs> Uh, this could be somebody external from you, could be another water sign, or it could just be someone making an offer that is very much to your liking. You have two knights here in the spread, which can sometimes indicate they're squaring off against each other. Maybe you got two competing people, two offers coming through from two separate people, and they could be sort of fighting over you kind of thing. Uh, Knight of Cups is very romantic. This is the proverbial um, knight in shining armor. Armor. This is someone who's very the romantic dreamer. This could be you yourself, though, Scorpio. You are water energy. Maybe you want to make a, a romantic overture or offer towards someone. Um, but this could definitely just be an offer that's coming towards you that's more to your liking than the Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands energy could be flash in the pan and maybe that offer comes and goes very quickly in the first week and then you have a second one to consider in the next week and that one could be more to your liking. And it's rooted down here with the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. <laughs> the Seven of Wands in the upright position is that very defensive energy where we're sort of on the defense, where we're just not sure what we're going to do, what we want to do. We're sort of protecting ourselves, protecting our heart, protecting another person, uh, protecting our privacy. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we're just sort of letting it all hang out. We're not worried about it anymore. Remember, there could be somebody spying on you. Maybe you just don't care because you're just letting it out there because you have nothing to hide. You're not worried about it. Maybe some of you... Um, are making a romantic offer towards somebody and you don't care who knows. Um, this could just be, I'm no longer protecting that person anymore. So I don't, you know, whatever the situation is, you're sort of letting down your guard, which I know is really unusual for Scorpio. Scorpios don't let them let down their guard very often, but maybe it's because you feel so comfortable. Maybe you just keep getting offers after offer and you're just like, wow, you know, like I have nothing to worry about here. And in week three, now we have the Knight of Pentacles rooted down by the, no, the King of Pentacles rooted down by the King of Wands. So now you've got, two, you've got a lot of people in this reading here. You've got two pages, two kings, two knights. <laughs> Too bad we weren't playing poker here. Um, so we've got the Knight or the King of Wands in the upright position. And this is more fiery energy, that of uh, Aries Leo Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, Male or Female. This could be for some of you, maybe there's a level of maturity. If this is a person external from you at the beginning of the month, maybe this is uh, this fire sign is showing more maturity later on in the month. Or um, this person is wanting to get moving. Like the wands energy always likes to take whatever ideas that are going on and they like to manifest them and make them happen. In order to make them happen, they they want the action, the activity to go with it, to manifest it. So it's about being busy, busy like crazy maybe in week three. Somebody's got you hopping or these offers or options have you so hopping that, you know, you've got so much to do. And then the uh, king or somebody could be if this is either you, Scorpio, embodying the energies of the King of Wands, you're like moving and shaking and you're getting a lot of things accomplished. 
And uh, if it's somebody else, it could be they are get taking the reins and getting things going. Maybe because there's a level of maturity going from the early part of the month to the secondary part of the month. Because you go from page and knight energy into king energy. So there's a huge level of progression here. And now we also have the king of pentacles in the upright. We see the page of pentacles here at the beginning. And now we have the king of pentacles. So this could be a huge uptake. This could be two people definitely. could be two offers coming in from business partners or financial people it could be romantic partners but whatever is going on it seems like it progresses into a more serious or more mature phase quite quickly like you go from zero to a hundred very very quickly the king of pentacles this could be representative of a financial person as well as you know, the, the typical fire sign energy, which is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could also be representative of a real estate agent, of a, a banker, a financial advisor, or something like that. Could be that because this, the wands can represent business and trade, and this could represent finances. So maybe for some of you, you're financing a business. And maybe it's involving other people. It could be business partners. Maybe together you're financing uh, anything from a home to a business or something of, of substantial. Because Pentacles, remember, represents the tangible things in life. Our finances, our, um, our uh, business and commerce and, and that kind of thing. It can be also tangible things such as our office, our home and that kind of stuff. So it looks like there's something really, really interesting that progresses very quickly for you, Scorpio, in the month of February. And look at this, the very last um, week in February here, we have Major Arcana of the World in the upright position, rooted down by the Eight of Wands upright. So the world is about a completion of a cycle that has been in motion for quite some time. This is about, this finally completes. So... You know, maybe you've been working towards uh, building a business, building a home, building a career or what have you, or even a relationship. And it's finally solidified now. We can finally out with the old, in with the new, begin anew. And the Eight of Wands can be representative of a lot of communication going back and forth, papers being signed, that kind of thing. Again, it coincides with um, the King of Pentacles. Maybe this is financial papers to do with a business or something like that or it could even be you know again if this is romantic maybe you're taking your relationship to a more serious level and this could be you know signing papers maybe for a, um, a marriage or a wedding or something like that but you're definitely completing an old cycle and you're moving on to something brand new um, looks like the progression starts maybe quickly at the beginning of the month and then moves on and and completes very quickly. So fast start, fast ending. <laughs> Beautiful reading, very confusing, but <laughs> no, no, not actually it's not really confusing. It's just a little bit confusing because there's so many people and so many characters. Like you don't see this very often in a tarot reading where you have two two pages, two knights, and two kings. So th there's something definitely serious going on with some of the scorps out there. And I'm doing something different at the end of the reading for the monthlies. I'm also pulling two astrology cards, one for love and one for career, to see if I can give you some a hint at maybe what astrological sign could be involved. So if it's for love, we'll see. We have Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising. Maybe a Taurus person is involved. We do see pentacle energy, earth energy here. Could be your love interest, or it could be somebody who's going to be involved in your love life somehow. Maybe this person is going to introduce you to the new love of your life, or it could be somebody who, um, who sets up a blind date for you or something like that. And then the second card will be about your career. We'll see if there is uh, someone else involved in your career what sign they could be and we do see capricorn hmm. two earth energies here could be capricorns involved with your business or career situation so that's what i have for you scorps i really hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye for now